Lord. I begin to tell them to the disciples to go into all the world and to preach the gospel to every creature. And he noticed, he said, and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. But we noticed the main thing that he started off with was to preach this gospel. Amen. And you know, this afternoon, if there was ever a time that the gospel of the Son of God need to be preached to a lost and a dying world, it is in the very day, the hour that we're living in today. We don't need somebody to get up there and to read us a storybook or a story or something along that line or give us another rundown on the 6 o'clock news report. But we need to preach the Word of God. We need to preach this gospel of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And we know that this is a big gospel tonight. And it covers a mighty big territory. And you know it not only concerned a man in the wealthy, as you might would say, in this old world, but it concerned a man in the little bitty just as well. And it concerned tonight and he's able to meet uh, the needs of each and every one uh, and the night he does know the need uh, uh, before we ever ask a man uh, uh, before we ever come into the house of God uh, uh, he knows what we're standing in uh, uh, need of this afternoon uh, and I thank God for that tonight uh, I believe the scripture said that the Lord uh, uh, even searched the heart uh, and he tried every end uh, and he knows the need a man uh, uh, before we ever Rise, uh, uh, but whenever we come before Him uh, and we begin to call upon His name, uh, uh, believing in prayer, uh, uh, we know that He's more than able uh, uh, to meet that need tonight. Uh, and I'm glad today, amen, uh, uh, that God has still got people, amen, uh, uh, that is willing to get out there uh, and to preach the Word of God. Uh, amen. And He don't need, uh, uh, we don't have to have uh, a great big fancy place amen, uh, uh, to preach the word of God in, uh, uh, but all that it takes, amen, uh, uh, it being called and anointed right. of God, uh, amen, and to study him to that word of God, uh, amen, and to pray it, amen, uh, and to follow the leading and the anointing uh, of the true and the living God, uh, amen, the Bible said it is the anointing uh, uh, that breaks the yoke, uh, I pray the name of the Lord, uh, uh, but you take, amen, the two too many uh, uh, seem like Brother Willie, uh, uh, they kind of dry, uh, and it seems like the only uh, uh, thing that they're able to do uh, is to more lift it up there uh, and to read something from the Word of God. Uh, uh, but I'm glad today to know uh, uh, that the Lord is able to put this Word, uh, amen, deep down in our hearts uh, and in our lives in the heavens, uh, uh, the little thing, man, uh, uh, what we preach, uh, uh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The many today look like uh, uh, that their mind look like is on everything uh, uh, but hold the word of God. Uh, and you know that it's just the old uh, uh, enemy job uh, uh, to put people's mind on everything uh, uh, but hold the word of God. Uh, and I look a little bit further here uh, and the Bible said he that believeth uh, and is baptized shall be saved uh, uh, but he that believeth not, I shall be down. And you know this afternoon, just because that somebody says that they believe it don't make it so. Amen. The Bible said it's not everyone that nameth the name of Christ. Amen. But it's he that doeth the will of the Father. Amen to God. And the Lord is looking down today and he knows just where uh, that we're living at today uh, and I think about as these scriptures begin to go on uh, and it begin to talk about the signs uh, uh, that we're going to follow them uh, uh, that believe uh, uh, you've no just getting saved uh, amen that's not the end uh, of the journey amen 
uh, uh, just getting saved and they're coming to church, uh, uh, just getting baptized, uh, uh, maybe a singing in a song, uh, uh, but the Bible said these signs, uh, uh, they're going to follow, uh, uh, they don't have to believe, uh, and the Bible said in my name, uh, uh, they're going to cast out devils, uh, uh, they're going to speak with new tongues, uh, uh, they're going to lay hands on the sick, uh, and the Bible didn't say uh, uh, they might get better, uh, uh, but it's if they shall, uh, uh, they cover, uh, uh, that word shall, uh, uh, it doesn't leave room uh, uh, for any doubt, hey man, uh, uh, but they shall recover, uh, 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 the Bible said to Hezekiah, uh, uh, he was sick on the death, uh, and the Bible said the word of the Lord, uh, uh, it come to him, uh, yeah. and it began yeah. to tell him, I uh, just set his house in order. Uh, he was going to die uh, and not live. I uh, uh, the to hide the I just turn his face to the wall. Uh, and he began to weep before God. Uh, and he began to remind God uh, uh, just how uh, that he'd been a living. Uh, uh, he wasn't getting down. Uh, and a praying a repentant prayer. Uh, right. uh, but he was able to remind God uh, yeah. uh, how that he'd been living. Amen. And the Bible said the word of the Lord. I came to Isaiah yeah. and he said you go back and you tell my servant Hezekiah. I've seen his tears. I've heard his prayer. And I'm going to ask a 15 more years upon his life. This afternoon I get pays to serve the Lord. I praise the Lord. Not only do we have the promises of the Lord in this life, but we've also got the promises of that life that is yet to come. I praise the name of the Lord. And by the help and the grace of God, we can purpose in our heart and determine in our minds that we're not going to be defeated in this way. But we're going to walk steadfast and we're going to stand steadfast and we're going to be unmovable. We're always going to be abounding, doing something or another for the glory of God. And you know the good thing about it tonight is the Lord said that He would never leave us and He would never forsake us. Who with us all the way even on to the very ends of the world. And the Bible said there's no weapon that is going to get you, that is going to be able to prosper, that is going to be able to stand a man against you. And this afternoon, I think about how the Bible saying that the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. Concerning each and every one, and he is more than able to meet the need and to help us to press on and do the things that is pleasing on to the Lord. I begin to think a little bit as they begin to sing this afternoon. My God is real. I be false, I can feel him deep down in my soul. Know them people over there. Uh, there was a servant old male. Uh, they had a God that couldn't hear. Right. And they had a God that they couldn't yeah. heal. Uh, amen. And the Bible said they cut their cells. Uh, and they offered up their sacrifice. 
sacrifices and they called an old bell from morning until night and they never got an answer we never would like it again to repair that altar and he began to offer up that sacrifice amen and he began to pour the water on it and he even filled up the trench that was around it you know you can't start a fire with wet wood but this afternoon we are serving that God today that it is able to start a fire and like he told no listen to a son of man that can't be dry begin to tell him and to prophesy oh, and the little bones I praise the name of the Lord that old in his hour a man a adversary and he's going about every day seeking whom that he may devour but I want to tell you today the word of God said to shun that old devil and he will flee from you draw nigh on the God and he will draw nigh on to you and if we will just put forth a little bit of effort and begin to push our way on day by day praying and praying and reading and reading and singing and singing for the glory of God and looking in Let's it grow in our hearts and in our lives. We'll be able to stand up and be like a mighty army for the glory of God. Coming together, being able to be in one mind and in one accord for the glory of God. Knowing that God is more than able to move in our lives today. He's not a God of yesterday. The Bible said in one place he's not even a God. That's a far off. But he's a God at hand. He's right here tonight. Amen. He was here before we got here. And even when we come into the door, he comes with us. He was watching over us while we were traveling on the highway today. And this afternoon he said that he'll go with us all the way. And he will, he will not leave us, and he will never forsake us. And this word of God, it is true and it is true, and it's a going to stand forever. And I believe the day we need to wax bold and begin to stand more firmly upon the word of God. I believe we need to try prayer, and we need to try the laying on. Of the hands, amen. Of the painful said, is any among you sick? I let him call for the elders of the church. I let them unknown of us all and the praying over them in the name of the Lord. And the Bible said, the prayer of faith would save the sick, and the Lord would raise them up. I'm glad of that today. And it said, and if they have committed any sins, it shall be forgiven them. But you know that word, it was sent out there to the saints of God. Amen. And if they have, if they have committed any sins, they shall be yes. forgiven of the them. Yes. And I want you to know today that this word of God is still true. And it's a going to stand when the world's on fire and a burning down with a fervent and heat. But I'm glad today to know that the Lord, amen, he didn't leave us here without a word and without a man this road map and without a man the power and the presence of God to work in our lives, the 
Bible said the Word of God. It was written in old time by the Holy Pen of old. As the Spirit of yes. God began to move upon them, they wrote the Word of God. And there's no private interpretation right. into this Word of God. But the same Lord today is rich in the all He has that needs a need that will call upon Him. Whatever the needs might be. And I begin to think a little bit about that old pool of Bethesda. Yeah. And how did the Scripture said that there was a certain season and that an angel of the Lord I would go down there to that water and would begin to touch them waters. Amen. And the waters became troubled. And the scripture said, And whosoever then have stepped into that troubled waters, amen, they were made whole. Whatsoever disease they had, it didn't matter whether they were crippled from birth. It didn't matter how long it had been. It didn't matter what kind of a disease it was. But whosoever stepped in after the troubling of the water, they were made whole. Whatsoever disease that they had. And the Bible said there was a man that laid there and that had been there for 38 years. Amen. And the Bible said said that Jesus come along and he said, Wilt thou be made whole? And the man began to say, Lord, I have nobody to put me into the pool. And the problem of going down, that's somebody else gets ahead of me. And you know that's just what the old devil wants to put into the minds of people today. And you ain't going to get nowhere with God in this day and hour. The Lord is not going to heal. And He's not going to do that. But this afternoon, our God is more than able to heal a man and to even make the vilest sinner ever went home. From the crown of his head to the very soul of his feet, he's able to straighten him up and to cause him to walk right and to talk right and to live for the glory of God. And the Lord is still calling people today from a life of sin and is bringing them into this glorious gospel of the Son of God. And he's a and he's making them able that they can carry on and preach this word of God out of a poor lost and a dying world today. I praise the name of the Lord and I begin to think about how that that man began to use them excuses there. I have no man. I have no one to put me into the pool. And you know there's many today that are using all kinds of excuses. I just can't get down there. It just seems like they're not anointed enough. Amen. To pray that prayer of faith. The Bible said here that these signs I would follow them that believed yeah. in Him. Yeah. A man, we can believe uh, the salvation. Uh, we can believe the sanctification. Uh, I believe we ought to be able uh, to believe the whole uh, word of on, God. A man that he is more than able uh, to heal a man. Yeah. Uh, we think about back in the day uh, when little old Robert was coming to the land. And I prayed for many. There were many that believed that Paul Roberts was able to do that through the Lord. And many that they would say, Well, I didn't do a thing. Well, I don't know about that. But I didn't know the Word of God. A man had said these signs. I would follow them that believed. 
Then they say in my name, they're going to cast out devils. They're going to speak with new tongues. Amen. And they said that they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I don't believe he meant for them to go out there and pick up an old snake. Amen. Man or a poisonous viper of anything like that. But I believe there's a whole lot of devil man spirit that we come in contact with every day through mortal man and people in this whole world. I believe they can take up and they can deal with them old spirits, amen. And they're not going to hurt them. I believe the scripture talked about the apostle Paul. And when he began to land on that island out there, right. and it was cold, and they began to gather up the wood and the sticks to go on the fire. And the Bible said as he was putting oh, them sticks Lord. on the fire, that there was a poisonous viper that come out of the fire, and it's fastened on to his arm. But the Bible said that old Paul just <laughs> shook him <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't feel uh, any harm. Uh, these signs uh, is going to fall down. Uh, that believe. Uh, and I believe, sister, uh, and I believe uh, that this Friday prayer morning, uh, I believe they're going to be uh, a great help to uh, each and every one uh, that will come and participate. Uh, amen. Uh, in glory in the prayer of the poor true and the living God. Amen. And we just come and present ourselves on the Lord. The Bible said that Peter and John was on their way to the temple being the hour right. of prayer. And there was that man yes. that was laid there. A man at the gate called beautiful. And he was there asking on. It was all this we had of making a living back then and we find that Peter I believe begin to tell him to look on us and he begin to look on them and he said silver and gold I have by none but such as I have give I all to thee and a good part of life that is in the name of Jesus Christ Arise up and walk And the Bible said he reached down And he took him by the hand And he began to lift him up And the Bible said immediately There becomes strength into his ankle bones And he went walking And he went leaping And he went praising God Believe that's what we need. Yeah, a little no. bit more love. A little no. more walking. A little more leaping. A little more praise in God. The very things of the Lord. Know it beyond the shadow of hell. That He is real tonight. Yeah. And He's more than able to meet our need. I praise the name of the Lord. I seem like we kind of I preached a little bit harder out there in the little barn yesterday than what we were planning, planning to do. But you know it's not always what you plan to do. On, and I believe today the Bible said as many as are led by the Spirit of yeah. God they are the sons of God. And I just think how well it would be if we was more and more of us coming to Come on. And the power of God a living way down deep on the inside and being able to say that it is good to be in the house of God. I praise the name of the Lord.
And you know it's just hard to say uh, what young might do. Right. He's still in the saving business. Yes. Uh, he's still in the sanctifying business. I uh, uh, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, he is still baptizing people uh, uh, with heaven's sweet Holy Ghost and fire. Uh, and he's still healing uh, uh, the yes. sick and the afflicted. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, many will go to the doctors. Uh, yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, but I'll assure you one thing. Uh, uh, the doctors can only do so much. Yes. Uh, the Bible said there was that woman uh, that had the issue of blood. Uh, and she spent all of her living uh, on the physicians. Uh, yes. And she didn't get any better. Uh, but she rather grew worse. Uh, but she said deep down uh, within the back of her mind. Uh, oh, if I can just touch uh, the film of his God. Yes. Uh, Going to be made whole. I praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible said that she pressed her way through that old crowd. And she began to touch the hymn of his honor. And the Bible said she was made whole from that very moment. I praise the Lord. And the Lord this afternoon, he's still the same. I haven't changed a bit in the world, but it's still the same. Amen. And the word of God, it is still just as true and just as sure as what that it ever was. And it'll never change. Praise the Lord. And I'm glad today to know. Amen. That the Lord is concerned in each and every one. And He desires to meet the needs of one and all. Praise the name of the Lord. And it don't matter uh, what that it is tonight. Uh, but if we'll just keep our minds on the Lord, we'll just keep praying and talking to the Lord uh, and keep reading that Word. Uh, we may be in the home. Uh, we may be in the car. Uh, it don't matter. Uh, but we can still be talking to the Lord. Uh, and the Lord can still lay things on our minds uh, and on our hearts a man to do. Uh, uh, things to say for Him uh, and places to go for Him. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. name of the Lord. Uh, the Lord is a sinner. Uh, he's not a dead God, uh, but He's a live God. Uh, and He's very much concerned uh, in the welfare of each and every one. Uh, uh, I read a little old sign one time uh, on, the, on the church uh, uh, sign board. Uh, and it said, children call home. Uh, your father wants to hear from you. Uh, I believe that they there's a lot, amen, uh, uh, that need to get on them old prayer bones. Uh, and they need to follow all the way home, amen, uh, and to get in touch, amen, uh, with the true and the living God, uh, amen, uh, and let the Spirit of the Lord uh, uh, come down uh, and lift them up. Uh, and bless them in this world uh, that they can be that light uh, for the glory of God. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Not going to try to go any further this afternoon. Praise the Lord. Seems like we're about to run out of run out of air a little bit. Praise the Lord. Uh, but sometimes that happens. I, I don't. I really had never learned how to preach yet. Praise the Lord. Don't know if I ever will learn how. Praise the Lord, but it do look like I'm going to have to learn how uh, to slow down anyhow. Uh, praise the Lord, but I'm glad today of this good old-fashioned old-time way that we're traveling in today. I'm glad that, amen, we can come into a place, amen, uh, that is totally dedicated to the worship and the glory of God, amen, upon this old present world uh, uh, that we're living in today and people in it, amen, uh, that is filled with the love of God and the joy of God in the hearts and in their lives and want to sing and want to pray and want to see the Spirit and the power of God uh, move. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. And the Bible tells you and I, and it is true, and it's the Word of God, uh, that if any two shall agree on earth as touching any one thing, uh, uh, that it shall be done. Uh, it is the Word of God, uh, and it will stand when the
the world's on fire. I praise the name of the Lord just as well as the rest of it is going to stand. I praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to give you an opportunity at this time to let's come and gather around the altar. Let us have a season of prayer. Praise the Lord. After that, we turn it over to Brother Haddon. Let him dismiss as you please.